In this question, some measurements were made on the surface of an aluminum alloy part. And here we have the strain values. Now we would like to find the in-plane stresses sigma x, sigma y and tau xy and also the strain epsilon z normal to the surface. We will assume that sigma z, tau yz and tau xz are equal to zero. To solve the question, we will use generalized Hooke's law. We know that gen generalized Hooke's law says that epsilon x is equal to 1 over Young's modulus times sigma x minus Poisson's ratio times sigma y plus sigma z. And similarly, epsilon y is equal to, again, 1 over e times sigma y minus Poisson's ratio times sigma x plus sigma z. Epsilon z is also similar. We know that sigma z is zero, so we will not include this in these equations. And for the shear stress, we know that gamma xy is equal to tau xy over g. So we would like to find sigma x and sigma y first. To find them, we will combine epsilon x and epsilon y equations together. We know that epsilon x plus epsilon, epsilon y is equal to 1 minus Poisson's ratio over Young's modulus times sigma x plus sigma y. And we know that epsilon x minus epsilon y is equal to 1 plus Poisson's ratio over Young's modulus times sigma x minus sigma y. So we know the values for epsilon x and epsilon y. And we can find the values for Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio from the book. From table 5.2 for aluminum alloy, We have Young's modulus as 70.3 GPA and Poisson's ratio as 0 0.345. We will substitute these values into these equations and we will calculate sigma x and sigma y. So let's substitute the values. Let's take them here. We know that 3250 times 10 to the power of minus 6 is equal to 1 minus 0 0.345 over 70.3 GPA times sigma x plus sigma y. And the other one is 
I have epsilon x plus epsilon y here and epsilon x minus epsilon y here. I will first calculate sigma x. We know that 2 times sigma x is equal to plus when we calculate this equation we see that sigma x is 178.5 33 MPa and sigma y is 170.49 MPa. Since we know sigma x and sigma y, we can now calculate epsilon z. Let's substitute the values and we get epsilon z is equal to minus 1711.8 times 10 to the power of minus 6. Let's finally calculate tau xy. We know that so xy is equal to gamma xy times g. Here we don't have the value for g, but we can easily compute g using Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio. We know that g is equal to e over 2 times 1 plus Poisson's ratio. Again, I am substituting the values. And we get tau xy is equal to 47.04 MP. And we are done with the solution.